Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on, I forgot. <laughs> I had to, like, take a pause. Like, I had to pause recording for a moment just because I had to, like, sit there and, like, fully, like, process what just happened. <laughs> Oh, man. I just fast travel, man. <laughs> I don't like go get myself a drink. It's hot in here. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. Thanks, Marin. Hey, you two. What are you up to? I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site. Quite an ancient one. Back away, old man. <laughs> I visited it during my early days on Jeddah, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who live near. We know uh, about oh, excuse me. I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. Check it out. Explore the ruins in the northern desert. Hey, Bode. How you doing? Let's talk later. Fine. Guess I'll give the codes to Seer. Seer. We couldn't save Armaius. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Glad you made it back in one piece. Master Cordova. Did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have come. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kobo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Cree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Temple. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, go. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted with Outer Rim Marauders in vain. I saw them too. But how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen a compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tamalor, and the Jedi Council ordered Creed to destroy the compass. Dagangera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. Dagon murders them over it. Jedi. Killing other Jedi. Cal, you're not holding it. Centauri said that Dagon was the key to Tantalor. Maybe he is. Cal, you're not holding the compass. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, <laughs> records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes. And Dagon sent his army to look for it. I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. <laughs> Well, look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Grease can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against uh -huh. the Empire who took our families. Realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as you said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. If we can get to it. 
I will join you. <gasps> Yay! Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. <laughs> See you back on the Mantis night, sister. <laughs> Feedy one's great. And then wait for the game and fix Cal. There we go. <laughs> he was a little off there. Time for us to make our move. I like you, Bode. Bode, you're cool. You're also very bulky. He's got the muscle. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. If you didn't know this, you can customize the vents for what angle you want them at. This not affect gameplay. Merely a stack. Like 75. Failed hanger. Where's the grease man? This. Good find, Beatty. Hey, not bad. More priorite. down there for fishing? A true fisher doesn't rely on the sun to do the seeing. A true fisher fishes with the mind. Sink your eyes on this. You're asking yourself, how in the deep did old Scuba know where the fishy was hiding? But what you don't know is that the barbed hookfish always travels northward. How does it know which way's north? Well, you see, it uh, has a quick with a kind of uh, to find a bumped into it on my way down. But a true fisher knows that a pocket full of luck is more important than some cod migration pattern. Now for a story, if you've the time. Hi. so we return to my time on the grapnel. Against the protestations of my heart, I forsook the rod and line for the harpoon. For years, we trawled the outer rim, sparing every fish that happened across our path. Talented as I was, I spared more fish than the rest of the crew. Put together, fool as I was, I didn't have the wisdom to be ashamed. The dread captain, Wanyak Wet, took notice. 
He showered me in brevets, gave me the best of catches, and scarcely a year after I left Sakavi Tar, I became his first meat. Shortly after my promotion, we were on our way to Manan to sell the carcass of a goober fish. But, wham! Just as we dove out of hyperspace and the great ocean world straight into view, so did she. The most glorious creature I'd ever beheld. A whale of marvelous proportion. But swimming through Manan's orbit like it was nothing but an easterly current back home. I was transfixed. No kidding. How close did you get? Funny you should ask. I didn't have long to set the eyes above before he crashed headlong into her. The grapnel bounced off her like chum of fortune. We plummeted down to the ocean, sundering the grapnel on the sea floor, where a gang of pirate quarren were holed up. The filthy Zephyrs. We swam out of the ribbon hull and found ourselves surrounded by quarren. Demanded all manner of things, including our bounty of fish. So, away we swam, Captain Whit, the crew, and myself. But, blind as we were at such depth, we shortly ran into a dead end, finding ourselves surrounded by quarren. Find me again, and I'll continue the tale. <laughs>